Today we're talking hair growth tips and tricks and things that I've learned over the years and that you may find helpful. So number one, hair or oil masks. So a hair or oil mask, uh, those are things that are very important because they can help condition your hair, they can help with your scalp, all right? So for example, if you're, the ends of your hair feel very dry or damaged, a hair mask or a deep conditioning treatment can really, really, really help. And that can be done once a week. Another thing with an oil is I would say, you know, take a towel, like a washcloth and dampen it, squeeze out the excess water and take a oil, right, of your choice. So jojoba oil, in my experience, and what I've learned is the most natural type of oil. It's almost the same type of oil that we produce as human beings. Whereas other ones may clog the pores. Like I've, you know, there's some, you know, kind of controversy, but coconut oil, from what I've learned, actually clogs the pores of your skin, where jojoba oil is the best because that's what kind of what we naturally produce or it's closest to it. So take a couple of drops of that oil or even peppermint oil, whatever it is that you like, right? Uh, and put a couple of drops in a warm towel. And just, if you have really short hair, just lay it on you know, your hair, press down on it, and that can help absorb into the scalp, which is great for, you know, uh, hair growth, it's great for the scalp. That's a really cool tip and trick as well. Wash your hair regularly, okay? If you wash your hair regularly, it's going to help strip out the sebum, which is basically a layer of oil that scalp produces that can, if you don't cleanse your scalp, it can actually build up and prevent your hair from growing, okay? So you wanna make sure that you're, regularly washing your hair, and I've done videos about this, how often should you wash your hair? I would say, you know, three times a week is a really good uh, amount of time. Wash and condition, shampoo and condition. Again, if your hair gets really, really oily or dirty and you have to do it on a regular basis, then do it regularly, you know, like every day, every two days, it all really depends on your hair. Here's a great one, have a balanced diet. I know it sounds, it's almost common sense and you would think, dieting really is just for the body and weight loss, things like that. But like, believe it or not, a good healthy diet is great for your hair, for the scalp. It really helps promote healthier hair growth. Just dieting in general and eating the right foods is amazing for your body from head to toe. Now this is something that I experienced many, many times as a professional and myself, avoid wearing super, super tight hairstyles or you know, I've always said this about hats and things, but anytime you're putting a lot of pressure on your hair, on your scalp, that could cause breakage, and it also helps reduce the blood flow. Now, I've, I've experienced this firsthand. When I was younger, I had really cool, longer blonde hair, and as I got older, in my like early 20s, the hair started to get a little bit finer, and I was always wearing these like scully hats and ski hats and just, pulling down as hard as I possibly can uh, and even wearing baseball hats backwards and stuff and it looked cool, but all that pressure on my scalp and on my hair was causing breakage and eventually I noticed it was causing my hair to fall out, right? And, and I was like in like clumps, I take my ski hat off, I'm like, there was like tons of strands of blonde hair Literally, it was because I was wearing that hat for hours and hours and sweating and it just was like not good. So I've also noticed when people have super, super strong, you know, ponytails where they're constantly like applying a lot of heat using straighteners, damaging the hair and then pulling it back, it's actually ripping and causing a lot of breakage. So just be careful with how you style your hair and how you treat your hair. So let's talk about heat, okay? Now, when you're using heat or blow drying your hair, people, you know, I've, I've said in the past, you know, it's not really the heat, it's how you use the tool. But just keep in mind that yes, overusing heat and using it improperly could cause a lot of damage to your hair. And it could actually, you know, really, really prevent your hair from, because it's breaking off. So it's gonna stop your hair from looking like it's growing because half of that hair is burnt or fried. So you have to be really, really careful with how you're using the heat, with the styling techniques you're using when you're blow drying your hair, using curling irons, smoothing irons, whatever it is, just be very, very careful about how you're using the heat on your hair. And also when it comes to washing your hair, you really don't wanna use 
scolding hot water in the shower because that could actually really harm your scalp. And that's the same thing with super cold water. You really don't want to use freezing cold water on your scalp, uh, to be honest with you. I, I think normal temperature is fine. And then if you want to do a quick cool rinse, that's perfectly great for your hair because it helps close down the cuticle. So just avoid using really, really hot water. And then lastly, trim your hair regularly. Now I've talked about this in the past where I've said the hair doesn't grow from the ends of your hair, hair grows from the scalp. So by trimming your hair, is it gonna make it grow faster? Not necessarily, but what it will do is it'll actually keep your hair looking healthy and that will make it look like your hair is growing quicker because it looks healthier as it's growing out. The problem is, is if you don't trim your hair, the ends may get really, really fried, damaged, and you may have a couple of inches of just awful looking ends. When you cut that, it's like, oh my God, my hair's so short. That's why if you, people say like, oh, by getting a haircut, it makes your hair grow faster. No, it just keeps your hair looking healthier and you don't have to trim off five inches of dead, damaged, fried hair at one time, bringing your hair from here all the way up to here. So make sure you just trim your hair regularly and just treat your hair like it's, you know, very, very important because you need to really care for it, use the right products, and it's gonna help you in the long term. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.